So, commenting on comments or podcast or both? I always get them confused. Just make them the same thing. That's what we're doing. Both, both then. Yeah. We're going to do both from now on. That's kind of a thing. One-stop shop? Yeah. yeah. Let's knock out two chickens with one brick. That way the yeah. audience gets to be a part of the podcast. Exactly. You know, everyone wins. Well. Every single... Every yep. sing, every Unless you're not one. subscribed. Then you uh, exactly. That's, those oh. are the losers right, right there. Oh, don't forget, we're sponsored by Dollar Shave Club today. Yes, 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 yes. So we, I got the comments, but we might take a little bit longer in between because we don't want to have to... Snap our fingers? Nobody's, snap our fingers. Nobody's cracking a whip. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. I'm What's looking at snapping you your fingers? I like you were the only one snapping. Listen, my left snap is way better than my right snap. How is that? Mine's, really? mine's muffled. Mine's got a weird muffle. Do you have a, 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 a prominent a snap? Right muffled. snap. Sharp Awful left snap. Yeah. I have a your left snap's weak. Yeah. But your right snap's good. <laughs> Ever <laughs> since I started rubbing it out with the left hand. God, that's the key. Snap's isn't getting it? a little bit yeah. more. Otherwise, we're sharp over here. And so you're, you, yeah. Simon's ambidextrous. He's both yeah, fingers. Yeah, this is it. Wow. Man, it sounds like you're knocking two seashells together. But that's from decades of bada bing. <laughs> <laughs> bada bing. That's right. Uh, like, you, you've got like, like uh, human castanets on your fingers. Yeah. I do. Listen, to, a, my, listen to my right snap. Okay. Listen to left. Oh, is that from a, a man? Much stronger. Much stronger. Oh, God. Oh, yeah, wow. something yeah. looks wrong with your hand. That's we need to take sad. a picture of that. Yeah. I should go to canceling. Yeah, you look all... Yeah. <laughs> Cancel? Cancel it. Canceling. Look like a Counseling. dead spider on its back with your yeah. hand like that. Mm-hmm. So, huh. Well, huh. you know what? I'll start off with reading a comment. Ooh. Yeah. yeah. It makes like sense. That. Read it the shit sense. out of that. Come all on. Right. Read right. it. All right. There we go. Here we go. Uh, I don't know. It's cur- either Curai, Cure says, and this is on... Keurig? An arc video. I don't know which one. I'm sloppy with this shit. We know. Yeah. Yeah. No, we yeah. don't expect anything. Right. With the More reading or, the... or less from you. No, I saved these last month, and then I added some new ones on top of it this month. So. Oh, so they're so, time timely. There's a few comments in here from Conquest and Kittens. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Sure. <laughs> Maybe a few weeks ago. Not that retro bad. commenting. So uncounted. anyway, uh, Curie Curie says uh, you can find a unicorn version of the Equus. It's all white and has a horn, but only one can be on the map at any time, but they are very rare. Fake Never news. seen it. In Fake yeah. news. Never I seen it. Uh, Fake news. No, that's yeah, real. That's, that's real. And it's special. I've heard this too. Yeah. So what? I'm just, I've heard of this. Yeah, we need to Why keep an eye out. Uh, so a unicorn exists out there. Yeah. Somewhere. And we would have saying. to keep it in like a steel trap, you know, like or a steel cage. And he's from Ohio. I'm a unicorn. But, you know, I mean. That's it. Now let's talk for 10 minutes about so, that. <laughs> <laughs> There's a unicorn on the map. Yeah. Cool. Listen, I think it's, it's cool. cool that we get these comments yeah. all the time, especially on Ark and Subnautica, because that's where I get most of my information on how the game works. Really? Yeah. Just read yeah. comments. <laughs> yeah, I love uh, yeah reading the comments it's on a, any videos we make. Like, like Trump getting all of his intel from yeah. the media <laughs> yeah <laughs> same thing it's a little bit yeah yeah but yeah and so i've learned a lot of on subnautica by um from our community which yeah it's great we've i've got quite a few subnautica comments and half of them just like on scraps they got scrap comments too okay S- scrap community does a lot of suggestions yes which is great and subnautica yeah ways for you to not die right or things like, I don't know if this episode's come out yet, but someone's like, the reason that melon's not growing is because you have to hit yeah. it with your knife and make seeds. Right. I saw that in a comment. Mm-hmm. So, that's good stuff. They so, really care. And I, I Am The Speedo Man has something that's similar, because, you know, comments are good. They, they teach you things. Like, uh, he says, uh, I always watch these when I shit. Don't know why, just do. <laughs> yeah. I've seen some people uh, are wearing socks when they watch the video. No idea. Wearing no. socks and shitting at the same time. Shitting in a sock. Yeah, that's weird. <laughs> Pooping a sock I can see, I can during see your videos. videos. <laughs> going for a poop yeah, and going live. That makes perfect sense. I want to watch something. Sure. Oh. Yeah. Neves is on. There's no toilet around. And since smartphones, look at how yeah, dookie exactly. times changed. <laughs> dookie yeah. time, oh, dookie time has changed so much. <laughs> I, I've said this before. I, like, yeah, if, I'm, if I somehow sh- sit down to shit and then I'm like, oh, man. Oh, where's my phone? I, I should work on my master's degree. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> Some people take really long shits. I do because I read. I read a lot. Right, but does it but take do you, you that long, or slow. do you just enjoy reading while I you're enjoy sitting? reading while I'm sitting. So you're done? Uh, yeah. No, I'll be when, done. When do you finish in the? What is wrong I, with you? So you're in there. Nothing. If it's you're like, like, you want to finish the book, if I no, if, <laughs> if, if I get into a chapter, I'm just like, all right, I'm gonna sit here until I finish this. Yeah. Even though you've been done. Yeah. 
Okay. I, I could have been done for 10 minutes. Like the poo on your butt just dries and turns into like <laughs> a mud mask. That's <laughs> gross. It, 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 is. it is gross. Well, don't you, like, I know I run into this problem. You need a bidet. Because usually bidet I don't be take wonderful. a long time to shit. But I don't if, if I do have a long shit, my, uh, I have to like constantly lift up one ass cheek to get it off because the circulation gets fucked up. Your and legs then when go I numb. stand up. Yeah. My legs oh, yeah. are you numb. You need one of those cushion seats that have all the germs on them. No, I just want to take quick shits. Or a standing shitter. Or that. Yeah. 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 When you just squat. Well, Apparently yeah. they have those in uh, gas station restaurants. Or oh, what are those things are called? They're basically like little uh, <laughs> stools. Yeah, oh, that, yeah, the squatty potty. That's how you're supposed to do the it. squatty potty, yeah. You're sp- your knees are supposed to be a lot higher. Our knees Still, are yeah. way too low here. There needs the to be a, a urinal version for number two. What would that be called? A urinal version for number yeah, two? Yeah, yeah. That's to me. That's called a toilet. Yeah, but without but like everyone... Something you straddle, but you're still standing. Would it have a little slide <laughs> kind of between your legs? Slide, sure. A little slide. This is all new territory. Be whatever you want Something it to be. Something you straddle, Ooh, little, but you're still standing. A little twisty slide, like it's a Well, a listen. Well, in water India, slide. they shit while squatting. Yeah, yeah. a lot in of holes. countries don't sit when right. they, no, they, they squat. Don't. Uh-huh. It, is, it is the hole in which they shit and is, on, is floor level. We should level. switch over. We should do the metric system and squatting. Number two, yeah, all I think, at once. I think squatting number two would be great. It'd be Overnight. a whole lot better for people's cores. Now, yeah. I'm curious. I want to bring something up, and it involves uh, science and stuff. Okay. Um, knowing that the stool thing is a factor, yeah. that your, your feet are supposed to be up about a foot or well, whatever. If you're, t- your knees if you're are tall, up. you're already in that position. Right. Right. But right. standing is the opposite of that theory. That's true. Well, you wouldn't want to. St- I, there's no, I, there's I no data if I, on this. I couldn't this. stand it. No, no, of course I'm raising no. this as a, a. No, that should be a test, a challenge, the stand while you shit challenge. <laughs> <laughs> no, someone's <laughs> done that. Someone said no one's ever like been running and take a shit. I want to say one of the jackets. Of course they have did though. That. You could run and shit. Do, uh, oh no, I've seen someone do it. People do it all the time. I don't know. Time. It's like sneezing and keeping your eyes open. Well, if you had the runs, that'd be. Yeah, exactly. Oh, that works out really well, doesn't it? The runs. The runs. No. <laughs> yeah, I saw some. <laughs> yeah, it does. Double meaning there. Yeah, but that's not even really shitting, is it? You're kind of pissing. <laughs> this kid just leaking at that point. <laughs> I think I think I was like in <laughs> kindergarten or first grade, but um, this kid down the street from me, he was taking a shit in the neighbor's yard for some reason. <laughs> right. <laughs> and the neighbor busted him and he started running, Oops. but he was still shitting. Oh, God, no. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, that's man. great. And I think the reason why the neighbor busted him is because my other friend was like, hey, Ryan's pooping in your yard. <laughs> and it was yeah. noon. He was like, what, what, what? And they were no, mowing. no, it wasn't me. <laughs> I don't want to name any names, but this has happened in this circle. Yeah. With some of your kids. Yeah, we're not going to get specific. (laughs) (laughs) But let's just say, yeah, someone's child here shit in my backyard when they were supposed to be peeing. So it's not your child. (laughs) It's just pee, right? I don't have children. It's just pee. That narrows it down. Yeah, Yeah. anyway, we're not going to say who. Uh, well, Chris Bain gave us But her dad comment. is awesome. What's Chris Bain say? <laughs> Chris Bain says, hey, I noticed they added a lance to Ark. Maybe uh, craft them in and some shields so you could do a jousting tourney. And, and right. we seriously are sl- we're slacking on that. Yeah, hey, yeah, that'd be great. We gotta get two horses. Yeah. Well, right now, we're trying. I feel like our goal is get a, get out of Scorched Earth. Yeah, we're trying rac- to. Well, yeah. listen, this Patreon thing, too. Yes. We just started that. We haven't had enough. We haven't even got the money from Patreon yet because that's on like a 30-day basis. Mm-hmm. But once that happens, part of our goal is to advance faster. And yes. To, and to get things like, like that. There's something we haven't built. There's a toilet. We haven't built a toilet yet. So, so let's, uh, <laughs> well, since you brought Patreon, let's just get that out of the way. It's obviously the changes are not, they're, they weren't going to happen immediately. They, yeah. Here, let me, I'll right snap that one. They weren't going to happen immediately. Is that your strong snap? Yeah, that's my better snap. Once it hits, though, it's going to it's gonna hit pretty hard because the guys will be trained. Mm-hmm. They'll be here. You're going to see a lot more cinematic content. Yep. Yep. We're going to break the internet. Yeah, pretty much. Uh, well, I, just I'm like just, that. Just because it's, it's naturally going there. John, on, on also, our John Nicholson said something for you, Neves, because you were always bitching about your Ingrams, right? Ingrams. Yeah. Ingrams. Yeah. Right. So according to John, he says, hey, Neves, I know you're out of Ingrams, uh, so I have something that will help. It's called the mind wipe. Do you know what that is? Uh, you kind like a of. Jedi trick. I think you can do this to someone, and they and they forget everything they've learned, but they get their Ingrams back. Because it maybe? gives you all your Ingram points back and skill points back without losing your level. The recipe is twenty four cooked prime meat, two hundred medio berries, oh seventy two narcotic, seventy two stimulant, twenty rare mushrooms, and twenty rare flowers. Hope you find this helpful. And a yeah. dash of salt. Well, no, that, that's cool. Well, we've been lucky because like, uh, there's been like twice that we've fired up Ark and all of our Ingrams are have, have it's been that. Yeah. 
I think so, it's updates. Yeah, it is part of the updates. Like the first one, the first one happened when they updated the whole Ingram system or the leveling up system. Like when that happened, all of our Ingrams got wiped and we had to reapply them. And then it did it the other week for some reason. Yeah. Which and I here, was thankful for because that first time I readjusted, I did not put enough into weight. Yeah. That was if, a happy boy. If you forget weight and fortitude, you <laughs> yeah, you can be screwed. Especially scorched. Here lately, though, I seem to have enough Ingrams. I think I've leveled up once or twice. And... Oh, good. Then there you go. Yeah. We're also that's splitting a good up a lot of the Ingrams. Like, uh, I'll... I'll put a lot into like building and yeah. Well, I, I think that's that's like what you're supposed weapons. to do. Like yeah. if if you start an arc tribe or whatever on a server, it's like okay, you're gonna be the building, you're the clothing guy, you're the building guy, you're the weapons guy. So everyone's you know you try to have your own role. Right, and I have no role. And what yeah. guy? What guy do you want to be? I want to be the guy who gets given shit. I want that role. <laughs> wants to be you, Dralis. The enabled yeah. guy. Yeah, yeah, you. yeah. exactly. Mm-hmm. <laughs> well, keep trying. <laughs> Dare to dream. Ray in ninety six. Says, uh, well, basically, do you guys know why the egg disappeared? Spoiled? Yeah. Because apparently there's a bug. Ryan96 yeah. says there's a bug, and when the egg stays in the nest for seven days, it expires as soon as you pick it up. Did you know that? Yep. Yeah, that's what we figured out. Yeah, we figured it out. Oh, damn. The well, <laughs> hard way. Ryan. So you're saying the egg was in that nest for seven days. Because we've never got, got an egg before. Gotcha. No. Out of all the months we've been playing on this server, those eggs... I've been there since we started playing. It's weird because I just got a dragon. I didn't know. It. So well, there's different there's different nests. So mm-hmm. um, Shadow may have been in a different part of that valley. So Rand says you got to take most of the eggs in in there, so another one spawns, and you take them. Does that make sense? Yeah, you take the old one, a new one will come up, and then you grab that new one, and it's not. Oh, there spoiled. you go. So it's dead. So or well, Rand thanks, even though everyone knew. Let's talk about something else. I may have learned that in the comments, though. Who knows? I could continue with the comments. I got Go something that was fun. Go ahead. Um, uh, recently, I read there's uh, the world's smallest porpoise and uh, most endangered um, sea mammal. Uh, the the ca- ca- vacar- kaki. Vacar- kaki. Ka- yeah, ka- vaka- ka- 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 I've got the. It's right I remember here. reading that, yeah. And they're wrangling them with U.S. Navy slash scientist trained uh, dolphins. Really? To save them? Yeah. Uh, in an effort to save really them. They're really endangered. Um, yeah, there's 60 left. Good lord. They're wrangling them or less. with U.S. dollars. Yeah, U.S. dollars. But uh, I just think it's, pairs. I think it's pretty cool to have a little team of elite dolphins that yeah. can wrangle. That's amazing. Yeah, Fuck that's yeah, really it is. Awesome. I'd love to see that. I went and saw the lorikeets. Finally. Yeah, yeah, man. Has that everyone gone? Yeah, I have. I have. I asked everyone to go. So I, didn't, I did not go. You did like, not uh, go. Uh, yeah. you. Living. I asked them to go, and they've Look. all respected me except one. Oh, I, hey, uh, the one I, guy. It just happened that morning. Uh, uh, my wife got up. She was like, hey, we want to go see the Laura Keats? And I was like, yeah. Yeah, I'll do that. I've heard mm-hmm. good things. Mm-hmm. I probably wouldn't have gone if I'd not yeah. heard good things from you. I even. talked it up. Yep. It was great, wasn't it? It was. It was fun. They seem happy. Yeah. Oh, I mean, yeah, they're just birds. Now, oh, there's man. a red one there <laughs> that you should stay away from because yeah. he's got a little bit of an attitude. Yeah. I feel like they all had attitude. They were loud. There was one that's sitting Very on my loud. shoulder, just meep, meep, meep. I was like, God, I'm gonna, I wanted to just grab him and throw him on you the ground. You probably shouldn't do that. Stop no, his that's head. Yeah, yeah, sugar, sugar addicts, because they're all drinking that that's sweet that nectar. nectar yeah. They're all fucking like drug addicts, just man. Coke they are. Just <laughs> all over you. Yeah, it's really disgusting. Just shitting all <laughs> the time, yeah. Shitting all over you. Yeah, I didn't shitting get shit and on that's what I, don't, I don't really want to get shit on <laughs> No, actually, I don't think I got shit on Just take an extra shirt. I didn't either. I didn't either. No one in our party got Buy one at the gift shop when you're done. Well, it looks like they had a hose in there. I'm sure people have gotten shit on. You just wash it Just down. take a spare yeah, shirt. They just immediately hose you down. Yeah. <laughs> the fire oh, it hose. does smell in there. <laughs> yeah, they just opened the fire hose. It didn't smell when I was there. there? It's, no, I didn't it's smell. It's kind of, a, it's an outdoor area and it's screened in. It's not like you're well, in the building. Right, my right. day, my mm-hmm. day it smelled and it was hot. It was like fucking 90 degrees outside and then you're inside this like tent, this clear tent. Yeah, it's like a dome. You think it's hot when it's 70. And it's, yeah. Have you ever guys, uh, you guys ever been in the equivalent? Uh, I remember back when I was younger um, at the minnesota zoo they had like um it was like a traveling kind of a exhibit, exhibit like that but it was a big um outdoor meshy setup with a bunch of uh plants and stuff but it was all full of bugs mm. like all free flying Just the spider insects exhibit. and there was no spiders okay. otherwise i might have passed but uh, anyone gone to that no nope. it, it was pretty Mm-mm. neat like walking sticks and butterflies and shit everywhere Ooh. the place here fort fisher aquarium yeah. where the birds are they also do butterflies some years i got you yeah it's gotta be an interesting thing to take on the road huh yeah to pack up and yeah. Move. <laughs> yeah yeah pack up come on guys get in the truck <laughs> wait did, hold on did you guys hear that 
That was the sound of everybody going to a different web page because we just bored the shit out of them <laughs> with Laura Keats and butterflies. So we, we got into butterflies. Okay, so Laura Keats is acceptable Laura to Keats you. Laura Keats is fine. Get the fuck but out of here. But then you start, then you go the down fuck this out. fucking rabbit hole of butterflies. All Plants. of a sudden, so let's, and then so, the next wow. thing you know, we're sucking each other's dicks. All right, so let's talk about the controversy. <laughs> Oh, of a Laura Keats? Uh, no, about, oh. you guys probably don't know. <laughs> Battlefront 2. The controversy. Is there oh, a the microtransactions? Oh, yeah. The microtransactions. What do you guys think of that? What the hell is well, that? Let's, we, let's explain. We talked about it. Well, from what I understand, it's like they're doing, they're doing something similar to Overwatch where you get these, I guess, what would you call them? Loot boxes. Loot boxes. Yeah, you get these loot boxes. And in these loot boxes are, I guess, uh, uh, aesthetical stuff, which is fine. But the controversy is in these loot boxes, there are also upgrades like that'll make you more powerful. For a certain amount of time, and the problem with that is like you can like you can you can get these naturally through playing the game. It's like you play the game, you get a lot of, of points, you get upgrades, cool. The problem is you can also buy these things. Yeah, pay to so, win. Yeah, yep. so I don't people like are that. yeah, I don't, and that's and that's the controversy is people are like that seems a little unfair. You shouldn't be able to buy these upgrades. Yeah, when you buy things, they should be cosmetic. Exactly. Yeah, you can buy like colors to helmets, uh, costumes, whatever. I don't give a shit. But yeah, once yeah. you start, once you say people can start buying. And is this More, a rumor or is this a real thing? This is like this is what's planned. They, I guess they released a video kind of showing how it worked. Well, if they get enough feedback, hopefully they'll. I, yeah, I hope they decide not to do uh, the upgrades for guns, shields, things like oh, that. Oh God, they are so upset right now because they're thinking we're going to make a fortune. Not like they need the money, but yeah. you know that that's going to be like, oh, we're going to be able to make a certain amount. They there. still could make it. Like, why not sell skins and emotes? I would pay money for emotes all day. In their minds, whoever makes the decision to go through with something like that, it's like, well, it's still available to everybody if you play. But like, it doesn't the, matter. Yeah. That's what their justification is. But they should yeah. know. But it, it shouldn't should be the upgrades. Bullshit. It shouldn't. It shouldn't be the upgrades to guns and things like that, or or the more the little the what do you call them powers. Uh, I forget what they're called. Buffs. I mean, the cards. Buffs. The yeah, buffs is a good word. Buffs, yeah, it sure. shouldn't be the buffs to your guns or anything like that. Yeah, because if you're rich, you'll just buy exactly. buffs. You'll just play all the time with buffs. Immediately, on. yeah. Yeah. I always thought there should be a VIP room in these games. Okay, so explain. Like, you know how the maps, what it is? Well, it, like you go to the airport and you want to go to the uh, mm-hmm. American Airlines. Executive mm-hmm. lounge. Executive lounge. We can't go in there unless you're executive. Right, but at the executive lounge, I get to get snacks. Yep. And I get uh, comfortable chairs yeah. and well, entertainment. What do I get so here? So you're on the map. There's one room you can't go into unless you're executive. <laughs> There's ammo in there. There's a... Uh, Sit, place sit down. No, no, ammo that's, is that's bullshit. You're yeah, paying. No, that's that's pay to win. <laughs> <laughs> ammo. Well, give, no, give me a nice there's, TV. there's ammo all over the field. Yeah, it doesn't yeah. matter. But it's not like it's hard to get ammo. There's ammo for everybody. But it's always but, yeah, there. You, got this yeah. one room. you can't do that. It's the same that's, shit. You're just fucking this. Sit on a couch, watch a program. Yeah, there's a program in there. Have a program. The couch. You can look at the scoreboard. That's fine. Look at the scoreboard. That's great. Watch the Ewok cartoon. Yeah. Yeah. That exists, by the way. But it does. Oh yeah. yeah. They made yeah. It, like really shit. They made actually they made two shitty Ewok movies. Oh god. They don't talk about those, but no. those are out there. They were on they were actually produced for television. Oh yeah, I yeah. remember seeing one. Yeah. On there television. They're terrible. So on yeah. top of the Christmas Star Wars episode. Well, that's a, that's bottom of the barrel. There's this a is like, of Ewok this is movies. right above bottom of the barrel. There are two live action Ewok movies. But why why it says uh on Arc also you should do you should have done the 21 gun salute for Wingy Dang Dang and and, and I think that's a good idea. Yeah, that's wasting ammo. It yeah. is a waste yeah. of ammo. 20, he's not the one crafting the fucking ammo. And picture well, how many yeah. like 21 times 4. Someone do that math. Yeah, right. Yeah. <laughs> if we had resources, yeah, if we had a yeah, hey, calculator. Well, we'll or, plus, if you're just firing ammo into the sky, guns, and there's only four of you. If you're just firing you ammo into the sky, you might hit one of his cousins, or one of you her might, cousins. or you might hit a dragon, and it comes down and kills everybody. Yeah, too you dangerous. You guys are being too stupid dangerous. right now. So you don't and, think anything's possible. And also possible. giving Neve shit about not knowing the Sandlot. And who was a part of the Sandlot conversation? Was I some, heard it from yeah. the other room. So you, and I thought you it even was came crazy. in. You, yeah. you made crazy the video. Too. So do you really <laughs> yeah. still don't know, or have you since looked? Because I forget. Um, actually, um, I went to see Wonder Woman the other day. That's not what we're That's talking about. Hey, Sandlot. this is relevant. That nobody and there was right. a Sandlot two trailer. trailer. And at the movie theater, they they advertise. They have a day where they show old movies, and they're going to show the Sandlot because it's a classic. At that movie theater. So we're there going? Go. If we're around, we could, yeah. Let's go see The Sandlot. No, I'm not going to go see The Sandlot. But <laughs> it, it's it nice is a classic, about, It is, absolutely. Yeah, no, it's good, and I've seen it several times. But there's a, there's a, I think we all know someone who hasn't seen a classic, and you're like, oh, of course. what? Sure. How have you not seen Dune? But I've I, never seen Dune. I've, I've never seen Dune either. But apparently it's like a big movie. Depending on, uh, depending on your age, like there's a certain 
Okay, so you were in between the ages of six and fourteen. Yeah, that's the year when I was this at Ninja movie School. Came out. Surely you've seen Never Ending Story. Yeah, or sure, you know, it's it anyone was one here of those. not seen that? It was I one of those. I've seen Never Ending Story. I've seen it. I've not seen the whole thing. I've met people who've never seen the whole thing. Exactly, that's the response I've you get. It is what you get. Um, I know people. Do I know people them. who haven't seen Star Wars. <clears throat> right. Yeah, they're dead to me. Some people just don't like science fiction or like fantasy. Period. Yeah. I had a friend back Nothing home. I remember when the second Lord of the Rings hit the theaters. I was, I was so excited to go see it, and he was just like, "Yeah, okay." And he's just, I just don't like fantasy. I'm like, but these movies are... <laughs> it's like, yeah, it was all right when we're done. Did you, did you like it? Nah, it's all right. <laughs> it's like, I remember I had no idea they were connected to The Hobbit until I saw the first one in theaters. Oh, yeah? I felt really, really, like, dumb. Educated then? No. You no, were enlightened. I, I mean, well, I mean, I immediately got hooked on it because I was like, wait, this is this is The Hobbit. Yeah. And my buddy was with me. He's like, no, this is a sequel to The Hobbit. I was like, oh, I didn't realize The Hobbit had a sequel. Yeah. And if you wait, they're going to make... Three hobbits. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> These movies are going to be great. We're going to really drag this story out. Yeah. I'm, I'm looking forward to the Christmas Hobbit. Me too. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Me too. Hobbit Christmas special. It's about time those little fuckers got saved. No kidding. Oh, and you know what? Hold on for a second. We need to talk about our sponsor, Dollar Shave yes. Club. Yes. I got a Dollar Shave Club razor. I knew you told me a story about your Dollar Shave Club. Well, listen, I only like to shave about once a week because it's a waste of time. Right. So... In the past, if I want to shave and I got like a week's worth of growth, I hit it with the, like the electric clipper first mm -hmm. and then shave because it is like pulling hair out of my face. Yeah. I can just go a full week with that razor. It just comes off like butter. So Actually, they have the butter stuff that comes say, with it. Yeah, butter? It's like face butter. Hair butter. So you switched over to Dollar Shave Club now. Yeah. No bullshit. It's great. Yeah. I want one. That's the thing. Right now, we could subscribe to them. We have an in. We have an in. Dollar Shave Club really is the smarter choice. You get a great shave at a great price, and it's delivered right to your door. It's an awesome life hack, and you no longer have to go to the store and buy a cheap razor and get a cheap shave. Or spend a fortune on razors with gimmicky shaving tech that you don't need. And when you use the Dollar Shave Club Executive Razor with their Dr. Carver's Shave Butter... The blade just glides against your skin to give you such a smooth shave that you will never forget it. Their Dr. Carver's Shave Butter is transparent for a more precise shave, and it helps prevent ingrown hairs and fight razor bumps. And you, too, can make the smarter choice by joining the Dollar Shave Club. For a limited time, new members get their first month of the Executive Razor with a tube of their Dr. Carver's Shave Butter for only 5 bucks with free shipping. And after that, razors are just a few bucks a month. That's a $15 value for only 5 bucks. In your first month, you get an awesome weighty handle, a focus set of four cartridges, and a tube of their shave butter. After your first month, replacement cartridges ship automatically at their regular price. There are no hidden fees and no commitments. Cancel anytime you want. And you can only get this offer exclusively at dollarshaveclub.com slash neebs. That's dollarshaveclub.com slash N-E-E-B-S. Thank you, Dollar Shave Club. Uh, so next comment. H25 asked, Neebs and the crew, if you could design any style of game, triple A quality, what kind would you try to make? P.S. Love oh, your man, content. That's a loaded question. I know. And this is something that I want to say quick. Okay. Like everyone go. I got nothing. I already nothing. know. Oh, me too. All right, good. That's great. It basically... Arc in space where you can travel planet to planet. So survival in a galaxy. Love so it. like Imperium, yeah, but Imperium. take Imperium, it up a notch. But, but yeah, kick it up a notch. Make graphics better. Yeah, very a lot of attacking, more, dangerous, more threats, more dangerous. Yes. A, more, a, a larger variety of threats. Mm -hmm. Things like, you can ride. I think that's a part of what makes Arc fun too. Is like every, yeah. everything you see, you can kind of potentially capture and tame and yeah. make your own. Like yeah. that, but, but that in, makes Arc. If it so was a space adventure, maybe you can ride some things, but just right. there's so many different things you could build to ride. Sure. Yeah. You yeah. build a, a little ship or a big ship. Or well, that's a, fine. But really, when he's ship. saying about the, the things, that really should be anything. If you're out in space, then you should be able to attach something to their brain, you know, that's going to basically make yeah. them yours. But you don't want to just make robots. it arc in space unless you are arc making a new game. But if you're a, a different company making something... Like, oh, you have these animals you ride, then you're just going to be accused yeah, of... Yeah, nobody has really nailed it yet. There's a bunch of space games out there that kind of do that, but no one has nailed it. And, and Star Citizen trying, right? Star Citizen... But, I mean, they're not, they're not going to have Imperium is the closest it's game like to having it down, yeah. in my opinion. Yeah, if you took... Space Engineer has no threats, it doesn't seem... Like you're, it doesn't guess, seem to be much of a survival. I guess the threats are other people. It's it, like it, We're looking for more PvE. We like PvE yeah. around here. 
probably more than PvP. And the thing I'm really uh, I dig about Empyrean is the uh, the terraforming because I think that being um, an option in it's, any of these games yeah. is so cool when when you have. The, the but ability the terraforming is still weird the, in that game. It's weird in that game, so they don't have it down either. But like, but you could do it. But you could do it. Like, uh, I remember Anthony was talking the other day. We were talking about like monsters and like if in scrap. And obviously, it wouldn't work in scrap. But if you could make like a what's the tremors worm type of thing? Oh, yeah. yeah. Like if you could make something or or tame something that actually goes into the earth. Like you know, Minecraft has the fully formable environment. But like games that when you can actually completely take control of the environment i think that's cool getting to that level further and further mm -hmm. yeah. within any game an rpg yeah. any game i think that, what i yeah i mean what i like about arc what i like about um minecraft and all those it's just customization i like being able to customize my characters i paint my dinosaurs yep you know build mm -hmm. my house you know dig you know make my trenches whatever it's like just right that level of customization brought to a space game would be amazing yep. so there hasn't been a lot of large game companies that have tackled this is there yeah, well i mean it's all it's it's difficult because if you're talking about different planets i mean that's the you know that's not i mean arc you look at arc alone that's just set uh, you know in a desert or in ragnarok which is still really big maps but now you're talking about the ability to travel out of that planet and then go to another planet so what level of customization is going to exist there is like it's is it mostly going to have to be procedural and then like a, a very like customized by the developers in certain spots i don't even care if it's a planet like, if you fly to the planet and then, boom, you're on a flat map, that's fine with me. So, like, each planet could already have, like, a built-in space station on it. So, it's like you can only travel onto these space stations. But it sure. would be cool to be able to travel, like, actually see the travel. Yeah, but if you go through the clouds and then you see a white screen and now you have to aim somewhere on this map. Mm -hmm. Like, you can't go on the, the back... Because in Empyrean, they're actually round... You can go all the way around well, the planet. You can't go to the North and South Poles yeah, right now. but you can go around, east to west or yes. whatever. And that's cool... But that does limit the size of your map. Sure. Mm -hmm. But I remember when Destiny came out, when it first came out, and I was like, oh, you can get a ship. Awesome. You can buy new ships. <laughs> but then you find out that you oh. can't fly them. There's they're no just there the during the load. Destiny. You can no. buy a they're transition during scene. During the uh, yeah. loading screen. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. It's no fun. Nah. Look what I can't use. Do you have a, how about you, Simon? What's your answer? Uh, <laughs> something more like, uh, like tic tac toe. Burger but, time. Uh, instead Two. of. X's and O's, it'd be like a star and a little and ducky. A, a yeah. pizza and a sandwich. <laughs> nah, it's skee ball. He, he wouldn't shut up at lunch about this. I want these. I want to build these big skee ball lanes. No, They're like bowling alleys, but it's skee ball. No, you take the you take the bowling alley that's gone out of business that nobody gives a shit about that's been there for sitting for ten years, and you turn it into a completely different game. What other game could you utilize? It's a different game with that long, slick wood. You just put a little ramp at the end and. Foot, uh, targets spear with darts. the bowling balls still. That's what I was saying. Yard yeah, with bowling balls no, and with spears. small, lightweight, oh. or big spears. You, you throw said that? giant spears at I, a giant dartboard. I would love to do that. That'd be a great game. And you yep. be, sell beer. Yeah, <laughs> that's a, a great, great idea. Beer yeah. and spears. Yeah. Beer and yeah. spears. Yeah. Great name for it. Oh. Yeah, oh. spears. Yeah, there you go. I like it. Yeah. Can we do? Go, let's open one in like one of these places that has uh, recreational beach. marijuana. Little beach would be fine. No, I want people to be high and drunk. <laughs> Vegas. <laughs> Vegas was the latest, I think. Yep. too. So we'll open the first one in Vegas. Yeah. Okay. Stay tuned. Get Brittany as our spokesman. Yeah. Or her sister. She's probably cheaper. Britney should be a little cheaper now. No, she? Britney's God, still, no. Uh, no, no, she's good. Is she still on the thing? Yeah, she's still oh, doing she's stuff. She's on the thing, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> she's still on the thing. <laughs> Scrap. Okay. We need more than that. McPancake says, how about an air balloon challenge? That would be cool. And I said, yeah. Worthy of bringing up. Hmm. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, because you can make them all. It pretty. would look cool. It just wouldn't do much. No, it'd be yeah. like hover base. Let's yeah. what, what, what if your builds add, don't do much? What if you add to the air balloons? Like, okay, it's air balloons, but you have to knock. So, like, you make a goal with them. Well, yeah, yeah. you could uh, like get down to the ground, knock something over, yeah, air and then bombers. a precision landing. Maybe. Yeah. yeah. See, it's all about you guys something. know you're scrap experts. We know, and and we've done the exact same video with other things. All right. You know. Well, we have definitely. But uh, balloons will look nice. A few suggestions. So at the end of these, I like to vote for who, who's the best one of the suggestions, at least. Okay. Right, so right now okay. we have air balloons. Air balloons. Hot okay. air balloons. Hot um, air balloons. But V Lover said, oh shit, another scrap. Love Duralius videos. Sucks. The after credits videos are gone, but still greatly put together. And that was me calling you off for being lazy. 
because he doesn't do the after credits thing. People well, we like can't. That. can't. Yeah, we can't because of the. That's what we're. The, YouTube, YouTube thing. changed the annotations right. on us. Wow, you really didn't know that, did yeah, you? No, you, I forgot that. Oh, you uh-huh. forgot that. That's oh, why I my brain just, doesn't work. <laughs> okay, so yeah, they with the annotations that we cannot put anything after the end credits. Yeah, it's got to be the last twenty seconds is where you can put the 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 links to other videos now. And, that's and I it. remember that now, but I never used to do the after credit thing. Mm-hmm. So I wasn't, yeah, it was the just, reason. It was pretty much short. a scrap thing. Uh, I really enjoyed doing it because there was like a little piece that didn't really fit in the actual cut, and I like throwing it at the end. And for the record, um, every now and then Neebs will uh, do a scrap as well. It's not always me. Yep, some of them I do. Yep, the better ones. Yeah, he does the better <laughs> ones. <laughs> I just figured I'd start a fight. There you go. Yeah, yeah. There you go. why not? Fight, fight, okay, fight, yeah. fight, fight, yeah. fight. Whatever. Uh, the Golden Gecko says, "Can you make an episode making motorbikes?" And I say, mm, I "Come know. on." Well, you can. You just gotta have a little training wheels, but you could definitely do motorbikes, motorcycles. Yeah. Come on, people. I know. Get excited. I'm excited. I'm thinking right now. <laughs> yeah. Calm no, yeah, you down. But how do you not like, figure how, how you build it? You just gotta build it with well, basically no, training just, wheels. I. My favorite thing to do now is to build something that has some sort of challenge. Yeah. Right. So a motorcycle is just going to be a car with less wheels, really. But then you add the challenge to the motorcycle. So what do you do? Like an excite bike arena. Yeah, like a mm. ramp. You have to jump. Or... Okay, excite bike arena. I'm I'm in. <laughs> What's that? <laughs> it's an old uh, Nintendo game. Excite bike. This what is the equivalent of Sandlot, to right? actually. Yeah. That's excite a classic. Bike is... How have you not excite seen bike. that? No. How have you not played remember? Excite Bike? He I saw was half of it. I was drinking and smoking <laughs> cigarettes with my friends when I was a kid. <laughs> Playing spear toss. Yeah. Uh, so anyway. Yeah. All right. So motorbike. Yeah. None of none of these, I don't think, are. No, I think we're just thinking. What, what do you want us to cheer? No. Yay. Motorbikes. No. Yay. Motorbikes no, and no, hot no. air balloons. Noted. That's fine. Noted. I really like a, a physical challenge. Okay. Like we did garbage trucks and we've been thinking about doing some sort of forklift thing, Mm -hmm. which is similar, but try to find some way to mix it up a little bit. Anthony keeps talking about that because he already built one. He's already built a, well, (laughs) he's he's built a warehouse. He's built a whole warehouse with stuff to pick up. It's an Amazon Amazon warehouse. Yeah. Uh, Now I want to do that. And now with the, uh, the, the the pistons. Pistons. Oh man, that was a game changer. Yeah. Yeah, that's a whole other thing. So what about, so Jadga Panzer 38 Hetzer says, why not do a gunships? Says, I said, you've already made bombers, at least some of you, because he went back and watched all the scrub videos. He said, you got rockets, try to combine them, like the older stuff that you've made, into bigger gunships. Uh-huh. And from there, I guess if you're shooting stuff, there's always a challenge there. I like shooting I, challenges. I picture, but there's no just, shooting in the game. It's that's so the hard to, yeah. But well, it's hard. They're shooting. It's it, just difficult. It's it's doable. Right? Like I pictured out like a two impossible. flying airships, kind of hovering, par- you know, side by side and shooting the shit that we have at each other, like two flying pirate ships, kind of. That'd be cool if you could, yeah, figure figure it out. Yeah, I think maybe if we did like bring the bomber challenge back, but have it two man and the other guy is in the vehicle looking through something, aiming and dropping something. Hey, so it's yeah, not that that'd be cool, too. Um, One thing and they wouldn't be incredibly fast projectiles, but and if they were at a different at an angle, we haven't tried the pistons blooping a block. Bloop in a block. Yeah, it might yeah. be. Yeah, you should be able to shoot something with at that. At least don't a, you think? a little ways. I don't think there's going to be enough pressure. Yeah. We'll I think see. it's going to be like that second pee after you've already peed. <laughs> it's going to trickle out a little bit. Oh, is that? Well, I think science is in order, though, but you might be yeah, right. Yeah, worth a shot. I wish they would just put something in that, that is a projectile. Like when you hit it, boom, it goes for a few hundred yards. I wish they would just come up with a gun or like something. And when you when you shoot a block, like if it's a wood block, if you're this, it gets shot with a gun. It's gone. Like that wood block's gone automatically. Yeah. And mm-hmm. you can slowly whittle away at your opponents like machines. Or whatever. Yeah, That'd that would awesome. change it. Yeah. And they just need to talk to us about everything, <laughs> right? That's yeah, all they would need. Pretty much a yeah. thing that deletes whatever block it touches. Yeah. That, that would be your destruction. The eraser gun. Yeah. Pew, 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 pew. Yeah. Why not? I'd also like a last action undo feature undo yeah, yeah. undo feature yeah <laughs> just one undo please <laughs> right oh fuck yeah you do get fucked when you take well, at the least one they, thing know, off right they gave the will tool which was a the big will improvement. Yeah, helps yeah. and the ability to save as you go but still but sometimes undo. you don't yeah undo please yeah they're still working on it yeah apparently they're gonna be crops and that's a thing in gmod right undo, undo? i don't know you can undo in gmod right anthony yeah Yep. See, yeah. learn, and that game's been around forever. Yeah. Did you guys get any uh, Steam games for the Steam sale? I didn't. No. Nope. 
Anybody? I didn't. Nobody got any Steam games? Oh, I, I got a lot. I just oh, don't want to sure, talk yeah. about it. All right. <laughs> got Tic Tac Toe. Did you get it? Yeah, I picked up that Dead Cells, which I played that on the stream a little bit. That was the exfoliation one. Everyone loved it. Exfoliation. No, like one guy complained, and you choose to read that <laughs> comment. It's like, oh, no. there's somebody complaining. Let me read this out loud. No, that same... was that was boring to watch. It was. You were playing well, that's it. That's an having opinion, a good time. though, isn't it? Well, it was. It was, it was no, no, no. boring. It was boring for I was bored I think watching all of us it, to watch. But yeah, were you guys actually watching it? You I guys were yeah. paying more I attention to the I chat. Wow, you're really defensive. Like your mom designed this game. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> like, like, what the fuck is wrong with you? Huh? Did I not see this game? It was a. It was a two D. It was a two D side scroller. Tell your mom to stick to designing martini gloves. I will. Oh man, I wish my mom had designed that game because that dude sold a bunch of them. No, no, that's great. And I'm not saying that the game is bad. I'm just saying when I would look over, I wasn't like you know, I was like. Oh, good. There's more of that. And yes. I, it's probably yeah, a great game. He's still no, walking it was, sideways, it, killing no, it things. It was very right. repetitive. I'm sure it's fun to play. Yeah. Yeah, I'm not knocking that. But uh, okay, so I, I picked think up that and Seven Days to Die. Those are the ones I picked up. I had a I'm, dream about that the other night. I've never played it, but just talking about it mm -hmm. uh, inspired a dream. A Seven Days to Die dream. Yeah. I was like with a group and we were like fortifying some area, knowing that some zombie horde was coming eventually. Um, that's pretty much that's it. That's a fun dream. Yeah. And you, you I might have had sex with someone. I don't know. See, did you, did, did you have sex with a zombie? <laughs> but it was with a corpse. <laughs> that would have been hot. Listen, no, did you know, you know when you were in the dream? No, it was weird. It was like I was watching it happen. I wasn't actually that character, but I was like watching these people do Were you this controlling stuff. it like lucidly? I was kind of controlling the camera. Well, you'd hope if someone else was, that'd be annoying. Yeah. That would be Get annoying. over here. I'm looking at this. <laughs> what are you looking at? James Fryman says, uh, this is another idea for scrap. Uh, cable call challenge, but what got me was because of the new map with canyons. Yeah, James Fryman said that, so I haven't seen. That oh, gotcha. Map There's more yet. opportunity to go from the top to another peak. Yeah. So using the terrain, you guys need to get more creative. Mm hmm. Huh? Yeah. Cable car. Like cable car. Cable car. I don't know what you do? That's probably the most boring. Thing I mean, it's to make. Yeah, it's but it, at least it's uh, an engineering feat we haven't no, tried cool. yet. No, no, it's cool, but I'm just he like, just I can't think the... of anything. Sure did. Yeah. I did, but why not? I mean, <laughs> I, yeah, what kind I of see. knucklehead suggests that? If you, if you made a cable car and then like put a bomb, bombers on the bottom of it, and you had right. to hit targets along the way. Yeah. Cable car murder like zone. Yeah. Right. <laughs> That'd be fun. <laughs> That's where I got my oil changed. That's it. <laughs> You don't have to do comments. You guys can I like just them. talk amongst yourselves. I like them. Well, I brought up the, the porpoise thing. and I'm trying to think of other gaming I contributed. news. Oh, I was going to... I brought this up to uh, Simon. I brought it up to, to Neebs the other day, too, but um, a movie that, for some reason, I just kind of looked past, but I found it fucking hilarious. Um, what We Do in the Shadows. I, did, I put it off for a long time. Um, it's That's like the name a, of the movie, What We Do in the Shadows. It's a vampire mockumentary. Okay. And, um, yeah, I saw like I saw it on Amazon, and I just kind of passed it, and I heard from a few people that I actually trust their opinion that said it was hilarious, and I just kept... But uh, the lady and I watched it last weekend, and uh, one of the vampires popped. I was like, I know that vampire, and it was Jermaine from Flight of the Concords. Oh, cool. And turns out he directed and co-wrote it, and yeah. it was hilarious. It was kind of what, really, what we do in the shadows. What we do in the shadows. What I really, shadows. really right. flippin' enjoyed that. I like a good mockumentary. You don't it, see a lot of them. Though. It was a lot of effort went into it. Definitely. It was just done. What? What are you smiling I'm at? I'm just, it wasn't hilarious. <laughs> Did you watch the whole you thing? You didn't see was, the whole thing. You watched that's the whole true. Thing? I didn't. I well, saw, what the I saw a lot of it. I was flipping through one day a long time ago and I'm like, oh, what's this? And I saw, I saw a scene that was really funny and I'm like, yeah. oh, wait, this is like right up my alley. And then I'm like, oh, that's Jermaine. And I got really excited. And so then just it, like me. And then... It was just not quite there. Like, like it was good. I challenge it, it you. It was good. I, I challenge I cha to... I challenge you on how much you actually watch. Because when you say... There's that. I watched most of it. That could be 10 minutes. Listen, I would I would definitely give it another try. Because I love Jermaine. Yeah. And I and when I saw it, I did recognize this is this is different. Oh, this it's is fun. ridiculous. But at the same time, Dralius has a bad record of he, judging movies. I really don't. The you're worst touching, in the room. You're, no, no, I don't know about the worst in the room, but you'll get very enthusiastic, which which hypes me up, and then I get my expectations well, thrown out. I'm of just way. used to. Aren't we all used to like the the comedies that like hit the theaters or whatever, and they always fall short. Oh, like there might be a good laugh or two. But for the most part, you're like, yeah, whatever. It was just another big budget comedy that's just like, you know? Yeah. Like, this yep. was significantly funnier than sure. most of the but shit I, I ever seen. I don't go to seen. a lot of comedies at the theater. 
Anyway. Well, you watch them on a plane wherever you see them, you know. I, I, you know what? Since you rip on my movies, mm-hmm. what you got? Uh, let's see. There's Sandlot. Shawshank Redemption. Well, you're Schindler's well, List. Come on. Come on. Come on. Everybody yeah. doesn't like Schindler's List, but I like it. Right. Yeah. You, uh. <laughs> I'm just, I'm messing with you. I know you are, but I'm waiting of course, for it. I'm, I'm naming movies you can't rag on. Um, <laughs> I know you are. You're going safe. Let's see. I liked Wonder Woman. Saw that the other day. Oh, so how much everyone... did you like that? No, I haven't seen it yet, and I, I have a feeling either. I'm going to shit on it. How much did I like it? Yeah, like... I'd give it a, like a seven or eight out of ten. Seven or eight. So for a DC movie, that's a home run. Yeah. I see how you're just kind of sidestepping here and avoiding the No, he called question. you out. It's like a... Yeah, go Neebs. Uh All right. I haven't see. seen it yet, so... Yeah, no, I haven't Don't either. Don't spoil it. Yeah, he's not. I'm not talking about that. I'm talking you about... You want to know other movies that I like. I, yeah, I'd like to, you know, because you rip on my... Okay, let's, as far as comedies, things that I sure. wasn't expecting much out of, but I liked. The, uh, the that Rock, you would recommend. The Rock movie with Kevin Hart, the CIA thing. Oh, yeah, Central Intelligence. That was funny. Yeah? I didn't, was, it, I didn't, was it stupid funny or clever funny? It was a both. A little bit of both, yeah. Okay. I expected to be let down, and I thought it was pretty funny. You know, I was expected to be let down with that movie with um, Ice Cube and the... And the fist Fight. Oh, Fist, fist fight. fight. How'd you like it? Oh, it's, when you're expecting to be let down... Uh, it was fun. It was fun. I really enjoyed it. It's like yeah. a kind of a John Hughes throwback kind of feel. Right. But... Charlie Day. With Charlie and, Day, right? Yeah, yeah. yeah. I, I really I enjoyed it. it I, saw, I saw the preview for that, and it looked like it looked funny. And I think it was, it was a fun concept for a movie. Yeah. One, of, one of my favorite characters in that was uh, the chick that's from. She's she's great, and she's quirky and dry. Yeah, humored. she's from uh, Workaholics. Is this the one that was doing meth in the trailer? The one, the, the one that yeah. was always yeah. talking about molesting the students. Yeah, she's the counselor. <laughs> yeah, she's the counselor. She's I only saw the counselor. trailer. <laughs> she yeah, hits on she's the... fun. Yeah, it's, it's, I need to check that out. It's I guess. really it's good, yeah. stupid. I mean, don't well, go in with high. Yeah, it, right. You mentioned like there, there's plenty of movies out there that uh, again are these big blockbuster comedies that fall short. But like one, actually two, because the first one in the sequel, Twenty One Jump Street and Twenty Two Jump Street. Those are actually pretty funny. Okay. Like, and um, I was I was going into it saying, this is going to be and it's very stupid. Jonah Hill, uh, the, the guy, the Magic Mike guy, and Ice Cube, because you mentioned Ice Cube. I, yeah, I haven't seen them all. I will. I, will I, I yeah, I I would check it out because Damn, it was. I need to watch good. more comedies. Well, I mean, no, there's also shit like I don't know why I thought that that Xmas like uh, Office Party like Christmas that party. Yeah, uh, it sucked. To me, good trailer. And I was like, this has the potential to be a really fun, good fucking movie. Yeah. And it blew. And I was a fan of a lot of people that were in it. And I was just like really disappointed. Yeah, T.J. Miller. T.J. Yeah. Miller's hysterical. Oh, uh, he was in um Deadpool. I, yeah, yeah. I just got done watching a, a series with my daughter that kind of surprised me. A show, it's a cartoon called Gravity Falls. Mm-hmm. And it was like, oh, this looks neat. I'll watch it with Emma. I got, I got way into it more than she did. She left. Yeah, it was a really yeah. good show. Yeah, she's like, get a life. She started sad. watching Schindler's List. No, yes. it, was, it was one of these shows that kind of took me by surprise. It has a good story, like good characters, funny, good storyline. Yeah, I didn't right. I didn't see the storyline coming. I thought it was like going to be like, okay, every week's going to be the same thing. It's like, oh, they're dealing with something different. But there's a plot there. Okay. And like one episode leads into the other, and it's like, okay, I'm hooked. So, so if you're the, looking for a good cartoon series, Gravity there Falls. There you go. And your answer was Central Intelligence. Copy that. That's the best movie made. Yeah. <laughs> 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 but uh, uh, the architect says y'all should try this course again. This was the Adahop course. Just make a round two video. And I tell you. Which the the last one we this did? This is the Adahop course challenge. Adahop school? Yeah. And the thing is, probably, no exaggeration, maybe 100 comments were saying, you need to stop fucking around. You saw the course. You need to make new vehicles. Well, I was, and it needs to be done again. I wanted to do a second recording of that. I knew you did, but there was a lot of shit going on that day, I think. Yeah, it was but, a busy day. Yeah, but you should do that again. And we I need think to we get somebody else make... to do the thumbnail, because God. <laughs> <laughs> what would you have done one of Dude, with that Dude, just course? don't make it look like Candy Crush. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. I wouldn't have done shit. All I know is, and listen, it, this is about this busting is balls doesn't here. Get. So I have a thumbnail weakness. I think we can admit that. Yeah, um, but it seems like no matter what thing, we say, all. it doesn't sink in. Like, Because you, a lot of your thumbnails look good full screen, but... People don't look at our thumbnails full screen. Sometimes it's just little bitty things. But mm-hmm. with that, you just couldn't tell. And I'm not saying I would, well, I, I, I don't know, whatever, but it's difficult. And it was my way of digging into you because mm-hmm. you like to dig no, in. Have, trying to start a fight it. again. Yeah. yeah. Wow. No, Why go not? for it. Really, if it makes you feel better. Yeah. 
It does. Anything that makes you feel worse makes me feel more powerful. Right. That there works. You go. Was it Any, Schaden, Schadenfreude? Schadenfreude. Any candle burnout makes Simon's burn brighter. I hope that makes your, your soul Is feel that better. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Whatever okay. gets him into heaven, right? Yeah, no shit. Yeah, you Christian bitch. <laughs> What? Let's not bring Jesus Christ, our Lord and Savior, into this. <laughs> this is how Dallas takes constructive criticism. Right. How's that? Right. Or, he goes you're for being Jesus. attacked. Yeah, well, you're attacked. Well, uh, John Brown. He just said he was trying to attack me. So I did. I took that as I'm being attacked. But listen, the thumbnail is going to be no. small. Okay. okay. <laughs> when most people look at the thumbnail, it's about small. This is not a topic to... Yeah, to, it's something we should discuss. I can't wait to see the comments now. Everybody's going to be looking the... They're fucking breaking down my thumbnails. Oh, maybe I'll click on thumbnails. this Candy Crush video. You know, Dorellis, you probably could have done this with a thumbnail. Oh, <laughs> that's that's gonna be so you use a lot of purple sometimes. You use a lot of purple. purple. Challenge oh, yeah. Yeah. I'm from if Minnesota. Pull up, pull up. And Vikings. You can probably Come show on. it right now. No. I'm sure you can find a no, bunch of Dorellis. No they're, yeah, they're all the purple, purple and green. Every one of them. Well, the low crawl challenge, it's basically a purple thumbnail. Well, I thought that was like artsy. And this is what I don't understand is because if I, any any excuse for me to get out of work, I take it. If I was colorblind, I would be like, I can't do thumbnails, yep, guys. Sorry. Someone else do it. And but then no, I... here's the thing. He's made good thumbnails. He's done make we know he's thumbnails. capable of it. I know, but sometimes the drag colors race might thumbnail. be a It's a great off. one. It's an awesome thumbnail. Awesome topic. Yeah. <laughs> I tried to get off. John Brown says, just a tip. Uh, when you guys get a chance. Now, this is... This is on Subnautica. Okay. 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 John Brown says, just a tip. When you guys get a chance... Go back to the jungle island. There you should find fruit trees, which will give you about the best food and water. Also, you can harvest a seed from them and plant them in a garden bed in your base. Unlimited food. And we kind of spoke I'll about, think about that. that. Uh, Boom. I might do that. We kind of talked about that earlier a little bit. No, uh, we've already done that. Not that particular comment, but I, I brought up like the, the knife with the seed. You, you that's guys why should, they, that's you guys why they should don't make grow. a lorikeet habitat. Ooh. Yeah. Oh, but you didn't, have but this isn't released yet because this was on the last Subnautica. No, suggested. yeah, we made the tree. We did the grow bed. But it probably wasn't growing yet. So this could be a spoiler. Don't you play Ark, Simon? This is Subnautica. This is Subnautica. Oh, gotcha. Gotcha. I was picturing... Way yeah, to pay why attention. Did I, well, I, I'm trying I was still thinking in. about fucking thumbnails. <laughs> <laughs> yes, <laughs> man. All right. I'm salty about that. Yeah. Yep. Uh, Spitshine Sneakers says, I hope you guys are ready for the game's full release within the next month. And I talked to you about this a little bit. Subnautica? Astro. Yeah, the end game content is going to be killer, but I didn't understand that comment. You want to explain? Well, what the uh, hell? Uh, from what I understand, and I could be wrong on this, but from what I understand, they're, they're planning to launch the game officially. Like, we're done in October. Now, that could be pushed back, whatever. But, uh, I mean, they're at this point, they're adding in the end game stuff. So yeah, they're they're wrapping it up. Is it isn't it weird how that's like such a standard with games yeah. these days? Because Especially it's like PC. It's the equivalent of like a, a feature film, just putting out three or four minute right. clips over and over and over. And yeah, then when the last one's out, they're like, and now the feature comes out. Yeah, and it's, it's just all of it. Yeah, it's something exclusive to games because no other medium can really do because that because they can make in. money at the early stages, which is cool in in some respects. In I mean, because, some respects. It, because like it, it, you get games like Subnautica. Yeah. Where it's like, okay, this this game made it could not have been anywhere near what it is now without the funding it got from people that bought it early access. Yeah, I guess. But, but it also it's a slippery slope, man. It, also, it is. Yeah. Well, some people abuse it, and that's the problem. Sure. But it also shapes the game. There's right. that. I kind of relate it to when we were making Duralis. Yeah. We would we would make a little a, an episode. But that makes sense. It it's would a be series. Short, but we're then, talking a full game. I know, but listen, I'm talking about the full the the show as a full right. which was shaped by the comments to some degree, because you could read, oh, they like this, they don't like this. Let's bring that character back, and you kind of get that. If, if they just made the game and put it out, you wouldn't have the feedback from the community. But don't you think a lot of people like, if they were to wait until the game was full uh, fully done, they've they probably already have watched videos that showed them everything they want to fucking play. Oh, it's anyway. very possible for sure. You know. I don't like, know. Yeah, no, I'm, like, I'm torn on it. Yeah, and it is one of those things. It's like if if you're not a PC gamer, if you if you're a PS4 player and you watch our Subnautica series or even Ark, why would you buy the game now? Yeah, you might you might not want to, or there could be the opposite effect. Yeah, like, right. I want to play that. I really want to get... because Subnautica. I they I, I think they're eventually going if if the game sells very well, which it already has. Yeah. I think they are planning a console release. Yeah. For that game, but they want to finish it first before right. they even bring it to console. I think for me, I would be less likely to play Subnautica because it is a bit of a linear story. Yeah. Whereas Ark is not. Ark's just 
whatever you want to do. I'd like to hear your thoughts on it. You haven't talked in a little while. With Subnautica, I, I'm not too interested in it because you don't have that multiplayer aspect. Mm-hmm. And again, like Ark, like you were saying, Neebs, like you, you kind of write your own story. You you can you can you know get together with your friends. You can build. You can yeah. tame animals. And I think it's just a more robust experience. I, I don't really like the the linear stuff too much. I mean, when I was a kid, I loved the linear shit. All that stuff that yeah. that pointed you in the right direction, took you there, it's, end of game. Like Subnautica, like you can, it's like Metroid in a way where you have it to go to this is, side yeah. of the map to get something that works on this side of the map that yeah. works on this. You it's, know, it's similar. It's it's way it's way more open ended. Oh, think, absolutely. I mean, I, I I love single player games, and uh, Subnautica took me by surprise with how fun it. I like I love just putting on my headphones, get sucked, get in lost this world. in the water. Yeah, you know, you're underwater. You're building your own wet. base. And I love you know, like Ark, you can kind of craft your own world, build your own bases. Yeah. Make your submarine bounce around, but yeah, you're. I mean, they're they're two wildly different experiences, sure. Ark and Subnautica. All right, and you feel the tension. Oh god, when you when go deep like, for the first time, you gotta keep going deep. That environment yeah. alone. It, first time you go in that Lost River, or whatever. It's like, oh, it, this is horrifying. It's wide it's, open. It's like a claustrophobia. Yeah. yeah. So VR, you'd be shitting. Yeah, and I've, I've tried it in VR. There's a, a couple of things like the hands are like way too close to your face or whatever. But it's uh like looking around the environment in VR is kind of interesting. So how do you feel about? Um, cause I remember Anthony bringing it up, and uh, but. Doom and um, Fallout being mm. in the VR versions of that coming soon. I wouldn't mind trying it. I mean, those are games that are not built exclusively but, but for VR. But, but they're, they're building them for VR. Right. The actual developers are. Yeah, it's like, man, I mean, Fallout, I, I like VR games. I don't like wearing the headset too long, and that's just me. Yeah. Like, because it, it hurts my eyes after a while. Oh, yeah, it's I, I can only play for maybe 30 minutes to an hour, and then I'm like, okay, I'm done. Fallout's not a game when I sit down and I go, I, I only want to play 30 minutes of this. I want to play two hours of Fallout. Yeah, I'm, I mean, I'm, it's such a big game. I'm intrigued in Fallout more because of the VR possibility. Yeah, and Doom now. Doom seems like I would, you would just throw up. I would lose my mind. <laughs> because it is such a fast-paced, run-around right. shoot game. Um, I mean, I'm, I'm absolutely willing to try it in VR. Yeah. But I would have a hard time dropping a lot of money on it. just because Yeah, you I already think... lived that. Simon, you tried Super Hot, right? It's great. And I only did it for five minutes, and I stopped myself because I had to get back to work. And that was it. Because Anthony's like, you want to try? You want to try? And I'm like, well, I kind of do. And then I was nervous because I, I was standing. It's the first game that I played standing that I felt completely confident while doing it. Because I'm like, I don't know. I'm probably going to fall. You ran but into then a after wall, didn't one you? Minute, no, I didn't. But, uh, <laughs> but I, felt, I thought I was going to. I was like, man, I'm probably going to fall on my face. But then after five minutes, I was... You never felt like you were going to fall? Nope. Not once. That's great. Yeah. yeah. And I was really expecting to be I dizzy. I want to try that. Yeah, I need yeah. to try this now. When you move in that game, do you, is it the teleport system or do you actually walk forward? I hate that. No, thing. you uh, well, I, you walk forward. Like when I wanted to punch somebody in the face in this, I had to go to them. Gotcha. They also kind of move away. It's a real, that particular game is really interesting. Hmm. The whole, st- when you stop, everything else stops. Oh, that's stops. the slow-mo thing, yeah. right? It stops. Oh, when yeah. you stop, it stops. You could really, ass- and you forget. Can you still look around while you're stopped? Absolutely. You okay. can move your head around. No issues. If, if no you move issues. your head full s- or normal speed, then it, it the environment. super slow. Yeah. That is like, cool. Yeah. And this is, what's the game called? Super, super hot. hot. And it's like real basic. Like the people are all one color. Yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. Not and a lot of textures. No, there's hardly anything to it. But when you, pu- like just, it, you feel it most when you punch. Yeah. Because some of these scenarios. Does it vibrate in, when you hit? Or do something. I don't remember. All I know is it felt good. I wasn't paying. I wasn't paying attention to those little things. I was just like, "Holy shit, that was fun!" And then I had to shoot something else, and I was failing miserably. Like but- you could live. Like imagine where this could go with textures being upgraded. I mean, you, you could feel like you're in the Matrix. Yeah. yeah. Eventually. Absolutely. Oh no, you're going. Bullets to- are being fired at you, and you're dodging them. Yeah. People aren't going to care that their their house looks like shit because they're going to be in, plugged into these. Just think if, worlds. like, at some factory or something, there was like a robot. That you in your living room was doing the work with your VR set on, but it was like directly transferred to making that robot move. Right. Huh? So you could clean your house. Listen to your wife. <laughs> yeah. yeah. So you didn't have to commute to work. Yeah. Save you an hour of drive. Exactly. I was saying this. Uh, they got this. Have you seen this bungee cord aerobics thing where you have like a harness yeah. on? Yeah. You showed us a clip at lunch. Yeah. And you're like, you're tethered to the ceiling, but you can like jump down into a push up position and push yourself back up because you're just real bouncy. Hmm. You can bounce yeah. around that the room. Like fun. Yeah, it just looks like fun. Now I mean, imagine you had a bungee. VR headset on, Ooh. but you can bounce around a room at the yeah. same time. What, what kind of sensation blast. would that be? It would be insane, and people would not want to go back to the real world. <laughs> That's no. The you issue. would eventually. Your eyes get your no. Eyes your hurt. eyes get, but then yeah. you go. Then when you're in your real world, it's like, oh, this shit's boring. That seems like a worthy thing to convert your garage. 
to accommodate. Mm-hmm. Yeah. You know what I mean? Or just yeah. like gut your house. <laughs> and make a big. Yeah. Yeah. Because yeah. yeah, fuck All right, your just house. knock out the kitchen, the bathroom. <laughs> we don't need any of we, that. We need these. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> we need these For, strapped up here. We need bungee. This the is why I said just a, Yeah, it's just a hole, though. But, but a game like, need... like your game, I keep hot pants, whatever it is. Super hot. Super hot. Don't forget. So you got the bungee cord on, and when you jump, your character stays in the air for that length of time. Mm-hmm. And then that'd you're punching things, stopping time. Man. No, that'd be step in time. Uh, yeah, step, uh, listen, that's step in time yeah. VR. You can Dude. play the chimney sweep. <laughs> yeah. I love Mary Poppins. I just saw that recently. Oh, again. man. Another movie I like uh, Guardians of the Galaxy 2. Yeah, yeah I really yeah, enjoyed it. Yeah, one, yeah, did, one was better than two. I enjoyed two better than one. I liked them both the same. Mm, there was, was like never funny. Happened. Two was funny, man. I think two I was, enjoyed well, that one guy. That that Mary Poppins comment because of the wrestler. <laughs> What's his name? Batista. He's he yeah. really stole the show. Yeah, him yeah. and that little Chinese girl were there. That was funny. Oh, yeah. they were their dynamic made, was great. Yeah, that yeah, that that did work. I think he might have the best laugh ever. It's yeah, so he's really, it's fitting of him. It's jolly, of that and, yeah. jolly, very basic generic. Almost, it sounds fake but real at the same time. Absolutely, yeah. So that's it's like a perfect. yell laugh. Yeah, mm-hmm. he's, he's like great. screaming, laughing at you. <laughs> yeah, it's so hard. Uh, I'm sorry, I got to squeak in a comment over here because Alex said something nice. Thanks uh, for apologizing. Uh, watch this app on a whim. So this latest Subnautica. A few hours later, I watched all the others. That was yes. kind of nice. Gateway drug. This is mm-hmm. this is my new favorite series. Bloody love it. I'll be buying Subnautica now too. There you go. Thanks Thanks, guys. Funny stuff. So thank so you, didn't, Alex. That's Alex. It didn't stop him from buying the game. No. 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 It, I see. I definitely see in the comments a lot of with Ark oh, I see and both Subnautica sides. and Scrap 2. There, there's always yep. at least a couple people in there saying I'm buying this now. I was just raising the topic to uh, to talk. Yeah. Uh, Trent Riley said Markiplier does it better. <laughs> so I like that. He does well, everything a different better. Style. Yeah, well, of course it is, but yeah. I just I enjoyed it when no, I saw he does, it. I, uh, yeah, Markiplier, he does a very good just let's play of it. He just plays it. Mm-hmm. I watched a little, uh, it was like a little interview with him or something, but uh, I respect that man quite a bit. Yeah, no, he, he seems to be a genuinely good dude. He was a try and fail kind of guy over and over and over, it seems, and uh, just kept failing at everything he was trying to do, you know, just, but kept trying. So yeah, you sure. cannot, you know, you have to respect the hell out of that. Hell and, yeah. Uh, he and just seems like that, that kind of guy. And he makes a really good thumbnail, too. He does. And he's does he make them? <laughs> does he make them? You can learn a thing or two. That motherfucker is not colorblind. He is well, not. We don't. Yeah. <laughs> Maybe no for that hardly any purple or green. Yeah, yeah. Or no. No. He refuses okay. to use either color. Yeah. yeah. Well, maybe the guy that makes them for him doesn't use it. Yeah. Well, anyway, and he's got a great voice. He does have. I mean, oh, that's yeah, just his voice. Got a it's his voice. Yeah. Like so. his voice is uh, one of the biggest draws. Yeah. Uh, James Ria, this was a fun comment. Says, "I've just been up for eighteen hours watching my wife give birth to our first child. Hey, I've been boring. sent home, sent home for the evening <laughs> to let them rest." And now I've got a beer and I'm watching the new Neebs Subnautica video. Yeah. Uh, you should be sleeping, man. Congratulations. Yeah. I'm very happy with this day. No, that's great. <laughs> yeah. That's an awesome day. Congrats. So, Daft Dev also says, never thought I love something more than Rage Cop. Always looking forward to this every week. What are your thoughts on doing the future VR Star Trek game? Have you man, guys seen, I, I, I've seen it, man. If uh, if we all had uh, the the space and the headsets, oh my god, absolutely. oh my god, I've seen that stuff would be on a it. Clusterfuck with on us. the fucking bridge, yeah. yeah. Just us trying to. <laughs> that's <laughs> how I picture the um, the pirate, uh, you know, Sea of Thieves. Like that's, yeah. I picture that dynamic on the ship with right. us, right? And kind of the same idea. I uh-huh. still wouldn't mind seeing, like, yeah, putting Neebs in there, and like, you know, he's not the captain or anything, but the cat, like, just throw you in, throw you in the mix. Well, and you know the poor bastard me? that has to deal Simon. with Simon. I know but who either, I would want either. to have would captain be great. though. Well, for real, I appreciate that. Thank no, you. Definitely not you. <laughs> so I would, I would want die to, immediately. See the worst. <laughs> what could be the worst and funniest is is either uh, thick or Neebs. If I wanted to live, because thick won't it would listen be, anybody. It would be Absro. Yeah, Absro would be the guy. Yeah. No, just if you want to know where you're going, he's he's quite the. I'm quite, I'm, I'm quite the navigator. The navigator. I think yeah. that you can hold everything together and piss off people less when you give directions. I think Maybe. you're giving any directions. Well, listen. Here's here's the reason sometimes thick leads. Okay. Because he's incapable of listening. <laughs> Right. Mm-hmm. So we're like, mm-hmm. if he's given the orders, he won't have to listen. Right. That's Whereas true. Whereas Abstro can do do both. both. Right. He can give orders and listen to feedback. Where, now, where do you put me in the? I would put no. you, you at. Have no idea. You're a worker bee. Oh, 
I'm I not would, a worker bee. I would put you. Uh, <laughs> I would put you a second or third in command. He'd be making honey <laughs> on the yeah. Star I don't know where else. Enterprise. That's right. Yeah. yeah. He'd be thumbnail captain. The honey yeah. <laughs> oh god, we'd all die. Uh, no, but what was the what was the the that chef game? game. The chef game. Oh god, overcooked. Yeah. No, you did well in that. There but we go. You that barked well. Leader. And that's the reason. Because that scenario you won't hear us talking complain, if we talk to you. You can't so compare just, that to Star Trek. We follow you orders. You can. Megan a burger is exactly like <laughs> like leading a, like, Star like a starship. Right. It's true. So, maybe you remember that, that maybe episode of Star Trek? <laughs> To make where, a they, burger. where they had a cafe. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. I, I would. I would certainly like to see that video of one of us in that Star Trek game. That would be a good show. The uh, at the cafeteria. Yeah. On the Enterprise. Yeah. Just, be like happy days workers. in space. <laughs> yeah. Happy God. days in space. <laughs> be a nice little spin-off show. <laughs> You'd see the leads every now and then come in, you know, to get their food, but it'd be everyone else. That'd be great. <laughs> yeah, like you could have from like, well, do these Star Trek uh, series take place in different time periods? I guess they do. It'd be fun to know, have all the Alex. different ones coming through. Yeah, all right. composer Alex, would know. know. Like what? Worf needs a di- he, he's got a different diet so he's got to have special food made for yeah. him and it's a pain in the it's ass a shellfish allergy or some shit yeah, yeah. Uh, here comes Worf yeah. we got tribbles Whoopi Goldberg's on Thursday. all gluten free I don't know anything about Star Trek well tribbles are I know what a Worf is it's the guy with a funny head he's a Klingon, he's a Klingon. There you yeah. go. There you go. <laughs> <laughs> See, he's a Klingon. Uh, a Klingon. Uh, I've heard that name. This, you, <laughs> we're somewhere with Alex, our composer from Duralius, and someone somewhere mentioned speaking Klingon, and then that fucker started speaking Klingon. Like, he learned <laughs> it does some not phrases. not surprise me. And I was like, man. I think it's on Duolingo. You're, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it should it, be. Oh, are you serious? You're not serious. No, right? I'm okay, joking. God. It should be. It, would, I bet it wouldn't you there surprise is. me. But yeah, a Klingon app to learn Klingon would definitely do well. It probably exists. <laughs> <laughs> and people learn that Game of Thrones language too, you know. Oh, really? The, the one that Khaleesi, you know, the. That's an actual language that they've, that uh, I guess the writer well, yeah, yeah. created. That's cool. Yeah. I think it's based on some other, but. We yeah. should make a language. Yeah. Yeah. Called, called Wingy Dang Dang. Wingy Dang Dang. <laughs> it's all well, boops and bops. We should translate that song sometime. We're down to the it's last It's actually comment. a very sad song. Oh, final comment. Oh, yeah. Go ahead. Yeah. It's, uh, <laughs> I don't know what video it's on because I, I got it last month. Ooh, this will be fun. Maybe we can figure it out. Maybe we can figure it out. Well, Ian K says, Thick used to piss me off royally in the old ARC videos, but now I kind of like them the best. Hey, oh, huh? look at that. Look That's at a that. good one to end it on. on a high note. Of. Was it oh, ARC wow. video? I mean, he mentioned uh, ARC, didn't he? Yeah, no, it probably was ARC. It makes sense, doesn't it? Yeah, so you know? it yeah but I don't comment. know which ARC. No, that wouldn't fit on scrap, would it? No, it would not. So anyway, that kind of wraps up the commenting on comments. We should get back to um, slash talking about my thumbnails a little bit if you yeah. want to close the show properly. Well, they are, really, they are shit. It, it's the fonts <laughs> are bad, the colors are bad. Uh, what else is bad? Uh-huh. Everything. You know, let's, uh, talk about shit. let's talk Focus about shit. Focus on the, the thing. The pooping was a very good. Uh-huh. I like that. Topic. We should bookend it. Okay, oh. metric system squatting <laughs> coming soon. Take it down, take it down, take it down, take it down.